Armin Georgian, our international affairs editor. Armin, what more do we know at this stage? Well, Claire, we know that there are four targets in total, at least so far there are four. Uh, that is to say, former President Barack Obama, uh, uh, former First Lady Hillary Clinton, and uh, the CNN offices, as you mentioned, in New York City, which have been evacuated. And fourthly, George Soros, the uh, billionaire and philanthropist, uh, he was targeted by what appears to be a pipe bomb that was placed in a package in a mailbox outside the gates of his compound. So if you put all those targets together, you do start to see a, a sort of political picture emerging. Soros particularly has been vilified uh, by the far right as someone who's supposedly in favor of open borders and migration and so forth. Of course, no one has claimed responsibility yet, so we can't uh, jump to conclusions at this point. Uh, but if you look at the nature of the four targets, they are clearly either on the left or seen as being somehow uh, liberal institutions or uh, personalities. Uh, now, we know that the uh, and it's interesting, actually, that CNN originally was was reporting that the White White House had been targeted, but it's now corrected that in its strap and saying that its offices were targeted, uh, but also the Clintons and the Obamas. Now, uh, the packages, the explosives, of course, didn't actually reach the Obamas and the Clintons because of uh, screening procedures, although Bill Clinton apparently, I'm sorry, uh, Bill Clinton was at the family home, uh, but uh, the, this package was intercepted before uh, he could have opened it, and, and that would obviously be in line with standard security procedures. Um, the same for uh, for uh, Hillary Clinton was act uh, the same for the Obamas as well. They would not have opened such a package themselves. Um, meanwhile, Hillary Clinton was away at a campaign event in Florida. Just one final point, Claire. I have to say all this immediately uh, reminded me of uh, the events of 2001, where uh, anthrax was sent in uh, anonymously in mail to uh, various media outlets and to two Democratic senators. So this uh, reminded me, at least from what we can see from the initial stages of those uh, 2001 events. Of course, then it was a very, very different context. That was after the 9-11 attacks. So we can't compare the political context then exactly. But it certainly reminded me in the terms of the apparent uh, political nature of, of uh, such an action.